So I want to talk to you about trace minerals. Okay, I finally got these in. I've been waiting for these things and they're amazing. Now trace minerals are typically those minerals needed in very small amounts. You don't need a lot of them. Maybe probably about um, micrograms, not like huge amounts like calcium, magnesium, but very small amounts. So trace minerals are essential to build the cells in the body, the DNA. There's even studies that show that um, this thing called mitochondria, I don't know if you remember biology. Mitochondria are the energy factories. That's where all the metabolism occurs. That's when you burn fat, you need that mitochondria. If you're deficient in trace minerals, what happens is the mitochondria, they don't work anymore. They actually age faster. So there's all sorts of studies that show that trace mineral deficiencies accelerate the mitochondrial decay and they, they break down. So um, here's the problem. From 1950 to 1999, um, certain trace minerals are deficient by 79%. Okay, in other words, broccoli, for example, uh, had like 130 milligrams of uh, calcium in 1950, but in 1999, it's like 48. So the soil is becoming more and more depleted. Um, but they only found three minerals that were deficient, and I was I was curious, like, why are they only finding like three minerals deficient from that time period? Then I found out in 1950, that's all they tested for, three minerals. They didn't look at all 74 minerals because you need all these minerals, right? So I know that there's a lot of um, deficiencies, even more than three. It's like all of them. So the problem is the farmers are, are not replenishing the nutrients or the, the minerals back into the soil. So other than three minerals, it's called NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. If there's no minerals in the soil. There's no minerals in the plant. The minerals are needed to uh, make the vitamins. There's two types of minerals. And when you go to a store, GNC, and you buy these minerals, what you're really getting is you're getting rocks. And one is calcium carbonate. That's like limestone. Your body does not absorb rocks. So the absorption rate from these metals, these metallic minerals, these rocks, these salts, you know, like they call them trace mineral salt, they don't absorb, like 4% at the very, very most. What you need is plant-based minerals. Because typically what happens, the, the plant digs down into the soil and it breaks down the rocks, absorbs the rock into the plant, and then we're designed to eat the plant because the plant has converted that rock into an easy absorbable nutrient or mineral. All right, so plant-based minerals are about 10,000 times smaller than rocks or regular minerals. So it'd be like the equivalent of a Let's say we have a, a golf ball in the Empire State Building. So the golf ball will be plant-based minerals. They're very small. They absorb 100% in your body. So when you take them, they go in like a rocket ship. The problem is where are we going to find the trace minerals? So I found a company that uh, I got them from, um, which is from a period of time that went back 60 million years ago, when you had the prehistoric type plant-based stuff. And what happens, that's when the soil is really, really rich. That's when we had all the nutrients. So now we can't find it. So I found these minerals that they actually liquefied them in cold water processing units. And now we can actually take them in small amounts to actually get our nutrients and enhance our diet. So I just want to tell you what happened. So I took these minerals uh, last Friday, okay? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So normally my son is about, he's about 180 pounds. He's a wrestler. Uh, I'm a wrestler, but he's pretty strong, okay? Well, I was a wrestler, so I was pretty strong and uh, back then, but now I'm not, I mean, he can just like take me down, right? So I took the minerals and I'm wrestling him on Sunday and I took him down like a rag doll. I'm like, what the heck? He's like, dad, what's gotten into you? I said, I don't know, I just feel really, really strong. He says, like, you're like the Incredible Hulk. I said, thank you. So I found that these minerals help build muscle repair, ligaments, tendons, they build the foundation of your cells. So I'm like, I'm waking up in the morning feeling more refreshed, I'm sleeping deeper. So then I started giving into my staff. And uh, um, Roxanne was like, what the heck were in those things? That's, I feel so good in the morning. I, I work out a lot, so the trace mineral actually gave me, I think, a little bit more energy, especially in the morning, because I do a 6 a.m. boot camp class. So it actually gave me more like a boost. So it was actually really, and I've been taking it ever since, it's pretty cool. I'm not like the best eater, but I do eat salads, kale, and stuff like that, just like I've learned from working here. 
and I just feel like this is going to give me more nutrients, especially for my hair, my face, my nails, and stuff like that. Stuff that I am very interested in, like personally. So I, I, I feel like it's going to help me a lot. Well, I mean, I didn't feel anything initially. You know, it was just I felt like I was just drinking water. And then the, that night, I slept a little better. Um, it wasn't a huge, huge difference, but I woke up more refreshed than I did before. And then the next night was better and better and better, and it just got kept on getting better. So, um, and also my energy just added, my energy sustained longer. Like where I would have a burst of energy um, and then sort of mellow out, and then have another burst. This time my energy was it, it was longer basically. Some of the purposes of trace minerals are to help your immune system. I mean, if you take trace minerals, you'll knock out a, a fever like that, especially in infants or little kids. Um, why? Because trace minerals suppress viruses. You can't kill a virus because it's not alive. It's a piece of genetic material wrapped in a sack. It comes out of remission when your resistance is low. So the trace minerals build up your resistance to infections and viruses. So it takes that virus and puts it right back in remission. And so if you take it on a regular basis, you kind of keep the viruses and stuff at bay. So trace minerals help proteins. And what part of your body is protein? You got hair, nails, skin, collagen, that glue that holds your body together. You got your joints. You have your eyes. It, it helps prevent macular degeneration. That's the that's a little thing in the back of the eye that helps you focus, right? So we have that. So when if you, when you have like all these like weird symptoms, like dry, brittle body tissues, you have dry skin, brittle hair, dried out. That's just trace minerals. Okay. So um, you need about um, um, 74 minerals. You don't want to get them from the sea. You want to get them from the plants because they're much better to absorb. Okay, so blood building, uh, muscle repair, rejuvenation. If you feel burnt out, I, rec I normally recommend it for people that are burnt out and uh, be because they're not sleeping and they just kind of wore out. This is really good for heart repair. So there's many different things that you can use it for. And um, there's, I mean, even increasing uh, fertility. Um, Wound healing and diarrhea. Did you realize that the number one cause of death worldwide is diarrhea? Yeah, you would never think that, but it's actually in other countries and stuff. So they get some parasite or something and then they diarrhea and they lose all their trace minerals. Those are electrolytes. Electrolytes are trace minerals. So they lose them and they die. So how do you stop a, di a person with diarrhea? You give them trace minerals, it stops it like that. Alopecia. Okay, that's your hair that just starts coming off in little patches. That's autoimmune. That's for the adrenal. So trace minerals are really good to um, support the adrenal from the stress responses. I always wondered about why Europeans are thinner than Americans. I wonder why people from Africa have great bone structure and perfect teeth. And I'm like, uh, I mean, I had every single one of my teeth kind of had cavities growing up. So I'm in Northern Virginia, and so I find that this is a melting pot of all the different cultures and people. So I got a chance to kind of ask and pull a string and see what's behind this. And even though these people from Africa are come from poor countries, they're very rich in the trace minerals. I really think it's the trace minerals because um, if you start out with good trace minerals and you, and you take them, even as an infant or your mom is breastfeeding, you, it comes through the mother, you're going to end up with really good structure, Mus muscles, uh, longevity, health, it's going to be way, way better than America. And so you're going to even, you might find when you were growing up, you know, a tomato would taste really good. Now it's like wax. There's no nutrition. I mean, it's like very, very depleted. So when you eat food, it doesn't really satisfy you. Why do you think so many people are craving so many things, especially the salts and the MSG in the foods? I mean, they put MSG to make it taste better, to get you to eat it. It dilates the taste bud, but they're not really giving the trace minerals, okay? So trace minerals are nutrients, and the purpose of nutrients is this. It's to give your body energy, repair the body, growth, uh, help you detoxify. Um, and it's kind of like a repair mechanism. Our bodies are constantly replenishing these minerals and vitamins. We really don't need more vitamins, we need more minerals, but we need trace minerals because um, I built uh, a software that analyzes nutrition and uh, 
and you could run down a whole profile on, on vitamins and you'll find that most of them are fulfilled. It's the trace minerals that are always deficient. So that's really what's missing in the soil. So there's a big difference between dirt and soil. Soil has all the nutrients. It should anyway. Typical soils only replace three minerals, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, sometimes sulfur, uh, calcium, and magnesium, but mainly it's commercial soils are actually only three. So that is the problem because uh, nowadays the, the way they grow things are very condensed, so they suck all the nutrition out of the soil and you end up with a depleted nutrient dense soil. So the plant gets its nutrients from the minerals. The plant turns the minerals into vitamins. Without the minerals, you don't have the vitamins. And so we're eating food that's very deficient in nutrients, specifically trace minerals, because it's not in the soil. So that's why we have to enhance because it's so hard to get. You would have to eat 27,000 calories of food to get your trace mineral content, your required. And that's almost impossible. And that's why you're seeing so many problems with all sorts of things. And I even think obesity is a problem too with nutrient deficiencies and even cravings. So and it's hard to find soil. It's hard to go. I went to the farmer's market to get my, my lettuce and my tomatoes, but I can't always do that. So you have to either grow your own food or get a trace mineral that has all the, the nutrients, but make sure it's, it's uh, plant-based minerals, not sea or metallic or salts or rocks.